Okay guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Um, today we're back with the AAF. It's week number three of the inaugural season. We've got game number three. I've already done two and uh, look, I just hope you enjoyed them because man, this morning I'm just not feeling on. I re I'm really not. My brain's just not working properly. Uh, I hadn't been up for long when I started these. I've had a couple of coffees, you know, let's, let's just hope that the coffee does its trick. That's all I can hope for. So we're getting into game number three. Uh, the last game we watched, Birmingham Iron versus Atlanta Legends. And uh, you know what guys, I've actually, uh, I've actually missed a game. Memphis Express versus the Orlando Apollos. That was game number two, but we're gonna call it game number three. Let's do it. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is Johnson. Here's Johnson. Gilbert, all time to time to throw. And it's complete to Linnell Hall. Another former NFL wide receiver. He's inside the 10. He's inside the 5. And Orlando is marching down the field. It's a talented group of wide receivers with Johnson also on Hall now. And I Woo! Right, left, right, left. Let's have a look at that again. Field it's actually left, right, left. And he was off balance. That was a great cut. Talented group of wide receivers with Johnson. Left, Lawson right, left. No. no. Shit. The fielder. It's a talented group of wide receivers with Johnson Marshall. Oh. Left, left, right, left. And that is a nice fucking cut. And I got a feeling they're just gonna come out and sling it and pitch. The quick toss. Spies the gap and he's through. I think so. Play fit. Let's see if Hackenberg can stretch the field. He takes the shot and it's picked off just like that. It's Keith Reeser with the interception. Let's see, let's see this again. A lot of shots down the field by Christian Hackenberg and this is not what you want to see. Whoo, nice hops, man. That was good. This was covered. You probably should have checked it down. Took off with the ball. This is not a good decision right here. Well, Mooch, if we know they're going to... Taking you right inside the huddle. As go, go, go. He's huge. Has thrown two strikes downfield to put him in the red zone. He looks absolutely massive. Hold up again. Inside the tank and the other first down. Mooch, they're making this look easy. They were fence. Eventually, yes. Fucking beautiful kick. The one thing that, that I do notice, uh, and the one thing that the kickers need to have is height on their kicks, isn't it? That's one thing I did actually struggle with. You know, I've been down to the field a couple of times recently and taken the, the balls down and, and given it another go. And it's the height. It's the height with the power and the distance. It's like, I don't know if my leg actually goes high enough. You know, my flexibility is absolutely shit. So when I punt the ball, my, my, my foot is definitely not coming up like above my head like some of these kickers do. It's like down here about my, about my waist height. Um, so I don't know, is it flexibility? Is it follow through? Is it practice? I mean, it's, it's all of those things obviously, but yeah. And especially the, the balls are hard, man. They're fucking hard. The leather balls, I've got a couple of proper college footballs now. And so I know what they feel like and God damn. God damn. They feel like hard rock sometimes. Alley trying to be one of our field goal. 14 yard and a 15 yard completion. What? But I will say, doesn't matter how hard they feel, doesn't matter how heavy they feel, if you've got good power in your leg, you can kick anything. But a lot of those are catch and runs. His longest completion of the season is 17. Needs 13 here. Goes to the boundary and he has it. It's oh my long. god, just first down by Devin Lucian who plays pinball and keeps this drive alive, gets it into Orlando territory. That was a big time throw by Hackenberg. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were saying that like one of his hobbies is pinball or something. And you know what? We've got a we've got an issue here. We've got an issue. You can't actually see what top I'm wearing. And this is a special shout out. Special shout out to the Raiders. Let's continue. 
on the edge, and he had to throw that in there with velocity, step into your throw, and shoot it there before the corner can get there. That's a heck of a catch and throw. Their college ball in Tennessee. You cannot, you literally cannot get closer to, to a pick than what just happened just then. You can't. Navarro snap in the grand wing hole from the far side pass. Wide left and just... Brad Wing. Brad Wing's playing for the Memphis Express, let me see. Special teams, Brad Wing, punter. There you go, he was... That's, uh, that's crack up. He, he's famous for one of the, for that, um... For that, uh, what is it? Special teams punt fake for a touchdown. Or was it a kick fake? I'm not sure. <laughs> fake punt for a touchdown. And then it was disallowed because he celebrated too early. That's right. But the most important thing is he's Australian. This year, so a nice drive for Hackenberg and Singletary and Jasper. Holy fuck, look at this! Executed beautifully. This is the Christian Hackenberg we wow. need to see. Just sprint. He a 46 and he did it while taking a hit. Oh, that's nine passing. Crazy, man. Now, was that on first down? Let me see. I need to know if that was on first down. Third down. Okay. Makes sense. Christian Hackenberg, we need to see. Crazy, man. A gain of 46, and he did it while taking a hit. Hackenberg. Nine passing. Right, so I was just looking at this. They're fourth and one. They've got all their men up here in like an offensive blitz formation. I don't actually know what they call that. What do they call that when they've got their receivers on the inside, in their offensive line? But basically, they're setting that up because they've only got one yard to make. They're going to try and make a hole for the running back, or probably not make a hole, just kind of like a scrum, actually. That looks like a scrum in rugby going up against the other scrum. And so they're going to put their weight up against the other team and just try and push them back, literally, like a couple of yards, just to make, uh, make that couple of yards for the running back to, to get the first down. Let's see what happens. Do they have the strength? No, they don't. Texas fan and takes it over in Orlando territory here. Demarcus Gates led the charge. Man, I want to see Singletary get a win. I'm feeling bad for the guy. Be a little bit with this wide open offense to just run it up the gut on fourth and one. There's no place to go. You see the guards and centers are all covered up. Bang! He comes up Bang. for a loss of two yards. Bang! For Stacy, a legit NFL back. Now Hackenberg up in the side roller. Hackenberg goes back to the top. Bye. Bye bye. Pick six, week one. Dorville lowers his shoulder and brings it back to midfield. With it. This play. <sighs> little sprint option. He could have threw it in the flat right away, but he tried to come back inside, throwing back a Good read by the Green. defender. It's very dangerous, as you can see. Big play by Garvin. Garvin. If he had have made it inside, that defender, if he had have cut on the inside, he had three blockers in front of him. That could have been a touchdown. It's been all over the field through two games. That is his second interception. I mentioned all he needed to do was make it inside this week. guy. Last week at and I reckon that would have been a touchdown. Ackenberg. Should have been picked off. He wanted Horn. Instead, it was in and out of the hands of Riggs. Cody Riggs should have had an interception right here. This is an ill-advised throw. Great coverage on this comeback throw. Cody Riggs, the former Buck, inactive the first two weeks. A starter for the Titans. They're going to keep it on the ground. Good and stuff. Beatty over the left side. <laughs> Look at that down. defender. <laughs> How did that defender's helmet come off? A starter for the Titans. 33. He's about to go nice and low and get smacked for it. They're going to 
keep it on the ground. And no, sorry, it was this guy coming in. Holy shit, he came in like a kamikaze pilot. He started for the Titans. Bam! Look, that works. <laughs> Beatty over the left side for a first down. And that's all you want to do is with a new quarterback. All right, let's move the sticks. Ben Howard in motion. Take the jet sweep. He looks the solid. Over the left side gets five to the 49. Blake Howard getting them started right here. Been a little guy. Howard in motion. Look at it again. Ow! Ow! Stacy! Whoa! What a run! I beg your pardon. That's some strong running for the guy that just signed this week. Wow, that's Another guy who just signed this Sherman week. Beatty up inside, move the sticks again. I'm anticipating some play action pass here coming up. For establishing the Shot, bro. Game, which is smart with a new quarterback. Yeah. Way to stay on your feet. Yeah, Arkansas talking to his own line. Mettenberger avoids the rush. Mettenberger throws for the pylon. Oh! He's caught with a flag. Lucian has a touchdown for now. Well done. I like that drive, boy. They, you know, they, they ran the ball methodically and very well, and this is going to give them a yeah, lot I like of confidence that. now with a new quarterback. That's a nice ball. Yeah. Nice ball. Looks to McGee and there's nothing there. He just blocks it and eats it. Throws it at his feet. Josh Pace had the pressure. He just run and run the clock out. Gilbert has really struggled since those first couple of drives. Daniel Smith gets around the bend. The 40, the 45. Midfield still on his feet across the far side 40. Davis Hall with the tackle. Nice yards. Yeah. 25 yards. Damian Smith. Well, this team's got a stable of running backs with Team Hunt, with the Ernest Johnson, now Davion Smith. Mm. Nice open field running. First down. Let's move the sticks. Love it. A game of 28. Bang! See ya! <laughs> he's got a play. Oh, I love it. Oh, are you kidding me? Touchdown! How did he get open? Wide receivers, the backside receiver went to the post. He went deep. That's a heck of a throw and a heck of a play. Great alertness by everybody. Oh, well done staying in, man. Well done. And he secured that football with two feet down. What a play. Stacey what a play. It. First down. Play pick. A deep drop. Take a shot, Zach Mettenberger. Forward. <laughs> I was actually going to, I was going to say I haven't seen Stacy yet. Stacy's a running back, isn't he? Um, Stacy really impressed me last week, and uh, he's got a real low center of gravity. He's got a nice jump cut. His 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 legs are sort of quite wide when he runs. Reminded me of Marshall and Lynch a lot. I love the play call. Play action. Take a shot. If you don't catch it, maybe it's pi. That's what they're going to get right here. Dante's bird. Stretch the field. Pass interference. Defense number 23. Brandon Silvers yeah. from Troy is inactive tonight. He's a little bit banged up. Mettenberger now on the line. Throws complete, and that's going to be a first down. Horn. Horn. This is 27 yards. And this nice. is good. Kick. The Alliance. Gonna start Fourth quarter. Let's go. Gilbert back up in the air. <laughs> Somehow. Oh, what God. happened there? Weiser came down with it. The old off the board, <laughs> off the wall. I've got to see a replay of this. Look at that defender in the air. For eight. This guy. Initial throw was this guy right here. <laughs> receiver. And now we get into a tip drill. Second and nine. Go. Looks right. Looks left. Trying to direct traffic on the run. Go. Again. Why not? He got drilled. Oh, let's eat. Yeah. You know what? Here's two things, though. That's a nice first down. It's a nice run. That's a smart thing to do. But, man, you got to protect yourself. You're the quarterback. You can't take this hit. Yeah. Maybe the, yeah the, maybe the one from the front's all right, but having a guy come in from, from behind, man, oh, it's just asking for trouble. Good run. 
Yeah, this is really Solid run. started him in this game. He's a very, very versatile guy. He's a return man. He's a good inside runner, outside runner. He can catch the football. That's a heck of a play call right there for another first down. Third down. He's going to get hit again. <laughs> yeah, back yourself. Back yourself. Bang, see ya. Oh, mate. That's a great run. I mean, he had the juke move there, right? He gets by. Oh, he had the juke move, right? And then he breaks the tackle. Good stuff. No, he's gonna run. Go back, you're up. Not gonna get there. Yeah. Was that the same guy? It wasn't the same guy. By Fanua. It and wasn't. Then he breaks the tackle. Here we go. No, he's gonna run. Go back, you're up. Not gonna get there. Okay, so, uh, sorry, I gotta get my head around this. Number three and four for uh, Orlando are both quarterbacks. Is that right? Let's have a look. Quarterbacks, number three, Garrett Gilbert. And number four, and number five. Okay. Spies it, splits them. He's got a first down at close to 15. He too has barely practiced. He got here this week. Fuck man, that's so cool. All these players that are like scoring or making great runs or great tackles or whatever, I can't actually remember now, but I've probably heard about three or four times the commentators talk about how the player has just got to the team in the last week and they're carving up. Like that's that's great, man. How would those players feel? They'd, they'd feel fantastic, wouldn't they? That's all they want. Just a chance in the AAF and then to do something well, boom. That is a beautiful oh, Riggs. throw. Riggs bit. Cody Riggs bit on the crossing route. Well out to the right. Lofting. They said that he bit. The defender bit on the crossing route. So I'm assuming that the defender was tracking him going to the corner. But then another receiver went across. So he stopped tracking him. He came across. Left him open. The receiver got it and scored the touchdown. Let me see that. Let me see that. Where is Shepard? Where is Shepard? Barely practiced. He got here this week. Shepard is right there. Okay, that doesn't really make sense, but I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> That's Shepard running free. They definitely had enough people in their backfield to to cover him. Riggs bit. Cody Riggs bit on the crossing route. Play back to the game. Roll out to the right. Right. So that defender who actually got to him in the end wasn't the one that was meant to be on him. Okay. <laughs> That's your two point conversion, Anthony. It was Riggs. And Lewis, the 257 pound fullback. What? 257 pound fullback. Did, what? To the right. Lofting. <laughs> two-point conversion Anthony Manzo Lewis the 257 pound fullback the I like the sound of that That's, that sounds like Mike Allstop big third down Dennis Johnson turns it upfield and gets to the 40 ow <laughs> just got a shoulder in his back it's alright here's Johnson over the left side big ball Johnson remaining Johnson go Barkley go Barkley first down down the side oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you wouldn't feel like that, man. You'd be so pumped. All right. Cool. Okay, I enjoyed that one. Uh, if you did too, remember to hit the like button. I've got one more game to go. It's the San Antonio Common. Why do I keep saying Common Deers? For some reason, I thought that it had two E's in it. So if you've heard me say commandeers, it's commanders, of course. San Antonio commanders versus the San Diego fleet. AAF, week number three, game number four. Stay tuned. I'll see you soon. Peace out.